So my dear souls, I welcome you in this world. I cannot say that this world, world is not a valley of death or where even rules of suffering. That all the people know and have to know and they will tell you. But something else I am also tell you that for you there is no valley of death. There is no ruling of any evil. This world is a, a part of kingdom of God and that you belong to God and you have got the kingdom of your own which is just the same as the kingdom of God as God is called to be limitless, limitless, beyond and beyond, beyond and beyond, wonderful and wonderful and wonderful. Nobody can imagine how great, how wonderful he is, what kind of life he has got. The same has been bestowed upon us by him. And that there is no one ruling upon us. Even God is not ruling us. As you see that when the children are in the house, the father controls the children, but for the sake of children and with love. When you are working in some concern, in some company, they have rules and regulations and they will punish you when you do not do something according to their discretion and that they will always control you. You are always, always to be little scared of when your boss comes. You have to give some salute to that person to be humble. And if there is something you have not really done something wrong and you have some rebuking or bad dealing, you will have to bear. Because there is no love in it. There is only some kind of ruling power. When there is ruling, it is only not for our sake, for other sake who is ruling. He knows what, how, how we are to be used by him. Fair or foul ways and means. Whatever he will say, we will have to say yes. And everything what we will do, maybe with fear or foul ways and means, will belong to him. It will go to him. What share he gives to us, he may not give us, it is at his discretion. That is the called ruling. But when father is there, he comes, he comes with bags full of fruit, clothes and other gifts and opens all his gifts before his children, my dear dear children, enjoy. Any difficulty, any problem, he will ask you. He will not give you any duty. He will only say to you that have you gone to the school or have you taken your breakfast or are you feeling well? That he will only ask us some things which are for us that they are useful and we may not miss all of those useful things which he wants that if we miss then we will suffer. Otherwise he will not say anything that you should try to serve me or things of this house that otherwise I will punish you, I will be hard upon you. That is not the case. This is also the condition of the dealing of our Father God. That is why in our scriptures, simple designation of God is not there, but an adjective is there always, Father God. So that we may have some feeling that this person whom we have not seen, we have not believed, behaved, we have heard only some things about him, that if there is anything which is first information given to us, what impression we will get out of it? When we say that your father is there, at once you will be very much lifted up. Oh, my father? 
your mother is coming, mother is there, you will at once lift it up. Glorified. Because there is something very wonderful relation and some benefits which you will get from the father or the mother. Just listen to the word. Your father, your mother, you will be much lifted up from this ground. In the same way, when we are hearing this word, father, with something, then we are really feeling that something is good, nice, wonderful, and that I will be able to will that all arrangement which is there from this person, and that this is truly there. If there is a real father, true father, it is God. We have got our worldly parents, they have also love for us, and they feel like uh, giving us every kind of comfort and peace. I do not like that they may suffer in any way. They don't want to rule us, they want only to love us, but they are also helpless. I see that when the uh, poor person, family is there, their children are there, they do not let the children enjoy, they cannot. They have to give some work to the children, go ahead and take the sheep and take to the jungle and that this may be fed or some work to maintain the house because with their own single-handed efforts they had not been able to pull on the house successfully and they need some help. So when the children are literally able to do something, walk or say something or do something, they put them to work. They due to necessity, although they love the children, they don't want to create any problem for the children, but it is of necessity. They cannot help it. And that if they are their children are diseased and they go to doctor and doctor says something high amounts of the uh, uh, cure, cure of the child, then they come back. We have found we can get money. We have got no money. Okay, let us go on. Whatever it is, we, we will bear. And that they have no clothes, their food is very much poor, and their uh, house is very much poor, and they are not really any remit against heat or cold or rain even, something like that, and they are shivering in the cold and also very much hard up in every kind of uh, situation which are changing. They have also love for their children and they are also feeling for their children, heart for the children, but they are helpless. And this is the case with all the people of this world. There may be kings and emperors. They also will not be able to serve or help their children according to the feeling of their heart. They will also have to send a child with some, if there is a king and there is some reward somewhere or some invasion is there from outside, then the kings generally depute their own children, own sons, have this army and fight with the enemy. Is this some act of love that father should send his child in face of death? He face of bullets, cannonballs, but he has to send because there is no other one believable. He believes his own children, his own sons, that my own sons will not join the old people and they will remain true to me and that uh, uh, I should send them. But he also knows that they can be killed over there. They can be no more. There will not be uh, possibility there. They will not come back. But then he had to send his children in front of sure death, let it be, of necessity. Although love is there and every kind of safety and every kind of protection is there in his heart. But heart speaks that is not being done. But something is there in worldly ways that they have to 
go to such like things which his heart is not accepting. It is not from the heart, but it is from the intellect and mind. Such like things are not there in God and kingdom of God. Whatever is heart, he will be able to fulfill his heart. There is no certain kind of uh, 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 pressures from anywhere that he feels like that I am compelled to do this. It is not like that. Because everything is there. What he will like, it will be there. There is no problem in him. And there cannot be any problem who are connected to, to him. That in, uh, in Delhi, a person came to me and he uh, asked me, what is spirituality? I told him, it is just opposite to military. He was a military man. <laughs> it is just the opposite to military. <laughs> <laughs> then we are wondering, what is opposite to military? Then I told him, you know, that in the military, the soldiers are just in forefront, behind all the other um, uh, officers, generals, colonels or something, and commander is back most. <laughs> and the king is on his throne. <laughs> <laughs> he is not facing the war. <laughs> just in front are the lowest ones, the poor soldiers. Then I told him, this is your system. He accepted it. I told him, this is appeared to us in the, our system that the martyr is just in front of the war, whole front. And he is to fight with everything and he is too responsible and he will be protecting his all children. He will say them, be safe, be in the back. Don't come in front of me. I am there in front of you. And I am unconquerable. Nobody can defeat me. I can face any kind of difficulty. But you are not to be doers. Surrender yourself to the master that you are the doer. And, and I am to work as per your instructions in surrender to you and depending upon you. In this way, you will be able to put the master in front and yourself on the back and that master is there competent to face everything and who is not competent to face this situation is to be in the safe place and is not to uh, be injured or in, in any way uh, uh, um, uh, having some difficulty or problem and everything is okay. And that uh, no initiate is there who is to suffer, only Mahatma is to suffer. Then he understood that this is really uh, something wonderful. And now you should also understand it, that what kind of uh, situation uh, you have been put when master asks you something. What he says you, you can you understand it? In Indian mythology, there was a man, he was a king, and he led his son that you can go to the master and I have given you to him so that you may enjoy services to the master and whatever he is there, he is there for you everything, you should break any relations from me. And then when the child was, that boy was going away, then he told, my dear, one advice is there from me, please keep this advice. Then the boy turned back and asked my dear father, Okay, what is the last advice from you? Otherwise, you have handed over to the master to me. He, then the father was telling, always remain in your fort. 
where you are safe. Don't go out of the port. Then child was wondering that you are sending me out of the port. In which port we are living, we are safe. You are sending me somewhere outside. And now you are saying, remain in the port. Don't go out of the port. And here you will be safe. What is this? I can't understand. The father told my dear, this such kind of force, etc. cannot keep you safe. In the history you find that there were so many kings. Almost all the kings had their own inconvincible forts that they had made in such a way that they were feeling like satisfied that nobody can reach us and these forts will be able to protect us. But they were all destroyed. No one eh, could be saved with any kind of arrangements, any kind of forces or forts or the armies. But uh, I am telling about what kind of fort you are to be in where you are really safe, where nothing is there dangerous for you, that is your master. Always remain with him, in him, not only with him, but in him. And he will be your uh, fort, he will be your power, he will be your wisdom, he will be your everything, and there you will be safe and will be able to enjoy for eternity safety and protection and every kind of provision. So my dear, I am sending you with this advice that your mind may not at any time teach you that I can do something. I am. When some uh, evils or devils uh, are encountered, then they claim that we are, I am, and I will do this thing, I will do this thing, I will do that thing, I will do that thing. This is the way of thinking or working of the evils. And then they are evils, they become evils, and they suffer all that, this kind of lifestyle of tendency. And now we are also accepted the same kind of tendency, I am. I can do this thing, I will do that thing. I have such high competencies, I have such high powers, I will kill him, I will save him. This I hold a doership which we are claiming that is us some kind of evilish or devilish. It is not uh, from the master, it is not from God that God has told you that you are like this or master has told you that you are doers and you can do something for you or you can do something for anybody else. You can kill somebody or you can protect somebody or you can do, can do something good to someone or you can do something bad to someone. This is a not a right understanding. And if we have not right understanding and right feeling and right action and right speech will also not follow, first we should have right understanding. Then right speech will follow. You will, what you will say to anybody, that will be really true and correct and useful. And what you will do after that right understanding, that will also be really useful for everybody, including yourself. So right understanding is the base of all your lifestyle in this world. And this right understanding is our subject. And where from we can find right understanding? Not from those who are having no understanding and no feeling. And when somebody is just on the bifurcation of two or three passages and don't know the way and you come over there and he asks you that I want to go to this city or this village and you put him, okay, go this way. 
you put him on the wrong way. And he goes on, because he cannot check up that what we are told was not right, because he didn't know himself. And after some time, he will ask somebody else, then he will say, okay, this is the wrong way, this is not the right way. Go this way, that is also wrong way. That is also not right. Then we will be lost, all oh, lost. Because all the people of that region, which I am talking about, are having nothing to know themselves. They don't know anything. And they would go and tell the person, all those wrong things. Not right, they have not got right understanding and they cannot tell that rightness which is there, needed by everybody. When I was in young age and getting education in my school, at that time it was told that the atom is further indestructible. It is the smallest existence. But later on the story changed and it is now proved it is working also like that that atom can be further subdivided. So many other theories also, which we are prevailing at that time, they were taught to us, and we were accepting it, that this is reality. But they who were telling us, they were not have, having a right understanding, they were having a wrong knowledge, and they were telling us also the same wrong, and we were also telling further the same wrong, Everybody will go into death, <laughs> all of us. <laughs> this is the way of a region of this world. That everybody claims it to be, I have man of knowledge, knowledge uh, uh, wisdom. If uh, uh, you do not know anything, you will not say that I do not know. Tell you will say, uh, this is thing, this is there, this is there. Because we cannot feel like that I may admit that I do not know. This is beyond your dignation. Even to tell something wrong, that is, we will bear. But to say I do not know, that we will not bear. This is the egoistic working of the human body. And that uh, wherever you go, they will tell you something. Regarding especially the spiritual way, finding the power, God, finding God, finding the kingdom of God, or finding peace. Any person you go, everybody will tell you, this is the way of peace, this is the way of finding God, this is the way of uh, uh, enjoying the life. But all will be saying different, everybody will be saying different and different and different. And in the end you will find, that nobody had any information for themselves and what they have told, they are all have just worked in their own egoism and that they had put everything in the wrong direction to me. All the world is like this because anyone who is working at the level of mind and intellect can never find the truth. Mind that it that is only meant for her to be misled by anybody. So therefore, what is there which cannot any time be uh, leading you, leading us to the truth or to our own destination where we want to go, which is our destination, then why should we depend upon those? So God has given us soul. Our physical existence is like a set of the uh, horse and the rider. Now rider knows where to go, for what purpose to go, which way to go. And if there is anything to be changed, he can be told. But if you tell the horse that where you are to go, which way to go, what far to go, you will not be able to understand. And if the horse rider is sleeping by chance on the back of the horse, 
then where the horse will go? Horse will go this way and that way, this way and that way. Where he will find some greenery, have to have something to enjoy to eat, then he will go. And in the end of the day, when the evening is there, and then the rider wakes up and asks the horse, where we are? <laughs> he says, we are here, we are here. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> Don't you see? <laughs> we are here. <laughs> this is our <laughs> our condition that in the end of our journey, when the death is there, where we are, then all the angels of death, they say, we are here, my dear, in the hell. <laughs> you don't see? We are here. <laughs> This is our way of life that we are going along. So we are not to depend upon the horse. It has also its understanding, intellect and mind and also body. But they are of such low grade that this information which is to be attained, where to go, what far to go, which way to go, their intellect and mind and body cannot understand. Our intellect, our body, our mind can understand. And that is the reason that the horse rider is always keeping the reins in his own hands. Each step the rider is to guide and control the horse. And horse is always also keeping his ears backward. It, it can change the like race. <laughs> And is always looking also towards the hint that where and at what time my, my master, my owner is directing me to go this way or that way. That each step is of the horse is according to the guidance and instructions of the rider. And then the rider is safe, horse is also safe, and the work is also done. They go safely, they come back also safely. And everything is there, complete. Because that one who is really uh, 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 meant for purpose is working now. So this body, mind and intellect which has been fitted in us, that is not to act as our guides or to have any wisdom or have any knowledge. It has been given only knowledge and wisdom that what is the guidance or hints which are coming from God through the soul, it has to find that. That light of knowledge and wisdom which is there with the soul and soul has found from God. In that light, what our soul says, go this way, go that way, do this thing, don't do this thing mind and body had to adjust, had to understand it. Because if your car is not working and you are a good driver, how you will be able to be a good driver? Car is not working. Car should also be in working order. But only car is not in working order. And if car, car is in working order and driver is totally a layman, then what will happen? The car will run and will go into some ditch. <coughs> so car should also be in working order and the driver should also be perfect one. And that the driver is to guide each step, each moment of the car. He is not to let at any moment to let the wheels go on working. In the sense way, all this body and mind and intellect which we have got is all the time, 24 hours always to be guided by the soul. If at any moment we are a little lazy in this respect, then and let mind and intellect go along in their own way as they think, you will be no more. And all this setup of body, mind and intellect will also be in trouble and will be no more. All the incidents and accidents, all the troubles and problems are only due to the reason 
that our guide is not working and we are misguided by the negative power which is applicable upon our mind and intellect and the whole game is lost. For the purpose for which we have come over here, that purpose is lost. The purpose of life of this world, of human being, I have already uh, told you that we have come over here to enjoy forever, for eternity, here also, as we are here in this world, in the physical body of human being, it is also not that you are to suffer, that you are to enjoy this life and also etern eternal future. This is the uh, object or the purpose for which God has designed us that we are to uh, 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 achieve something what we had been uh, desiring to achieve and everybody desires this that I am to enjoy for eternity for the best there is never anything I am to suffer that God says now I have given you this opportunity and you go on but you are to work according to my dictates what I have told you you are to do like that. If you do the will of anybody else, then I am not responsible for you. And that person will not, not be also responsible for you. Because anybody else in this uh, creation of mine, or uh, at least in this world, you cannot say that anybody is uh, responsible for you if they could not be responsible for themselves, then how they can be responsible for me or for you? The one who is really capable and is responsible for us and takes responsibility for us, that will only be working. I am competent and I have love for you. I have responsibility for you. And if you ask me, and remain with me. I will not ever forget you or just miss, let you uh, lose. I will keep watch upon you each moment and will not let you suffer. And for eternity I will arrange that you are to enjoy. That I will never leave thee nor forsake thee till the end of the world. But anybody as in this world, cannot be dependable, cannot be believable, and never believe anybody, never depend upon anybody. I am the only one believable, I am the only one dependable. Oh, my dear soul, if you had understood it, then you would have understood everything. But this is a basic principle of life that who is our guide, who is our protector, who is our believable, who is dependable, who is our real father, who is real mother, who is real sympathizer with us, we have never been able to understand and we have now tried to find. If we are told, we do not believe that information which was really necessary, urgent for us and all this worldly uh, misguidances, misguidances, we go from each other, each other, each other, but uh, nowhere we are uh, finding anything. Mother is there, father is there, brothers are there, uncles and aunts are there, relatives are there, friends are there, and you are also there, but sufferings are still there. The kings are there, ministers are there, and that uh, hundreds, thousands of militaries are also there. Everything is there. But still, the king is no more. Having is the kingdom of the whole world, of the world. Everything is of the world. Tell you have nothing. You will be away with nothingness. You will suffer and suffer and suffer. So this we have not understood. That we have gone to the history of the world. There have been very, very big kings and emperors. 
and with their big big arrangements they could not have be happy their lives were full of tragedies and uh, no comedy was there suffering that suffering and we should conclude now that if those kings and emperors and great persons they could not enjoy life they could not find any peace here in this world with those arrangements which they had got in very big and big and big uh, 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 quantities and we are trying to find the same maybe in small quantities still less is that big and big thing that they could not help them which what small we will be able to help it is like that if i am earning 5000 dollars i feel like if i will begin to earn 10000 i will be really happy i will really be satisfied but you should see if there are some people who are already earning 10000 are they really happy are they really peaceful are they really satisfied when you go there you find there are so on stake they are so not happy they are so not satisfied and then you tie those who are earning 20000 dollars per month that perhaps they must be very happy and that uh, will work go to that person you find much more tidy that person because something which we are expecting that this is something helpful it is our misunderstanding the more you will get the materialism the more you will be unhappy an easy life they had that bears the crown take off the crown and enjoy <laughs> <laughs> this crown is really <laughs> a curse it's not a crown it is a curse <laughs> so let us only use the word see the intelligent persons and some other persons will and take the meaning of she in different way some will say crown is really wonderful and other will say it is only a curse <laughs> and who is right in this respect none of you will say that crown is a curse <laughs> it is only master has told like that or some wise man has told like that and we will also have to admit at certain stage of our life that the crown is really hard really hard so in indian mythology there is a story that uh, there were some jackals who collected together and they were saying that we should have an organization that there are some lions wolves or some hunters uh, they are uh, catching us we should have our organization that we try to defend ourselves and then they found a one leader and now they were asking how to detect the leader out of the the same kind of jackals then they put some kind of uh, some big long log put upon his neck and that he was going with that log of wood and then he was considered our leader or our leader our great one our king and after that they saw that there is some hunter coming with some dogs and then that leader did uh, ring the bell of the uh, uh, big log which was there and all the jackals jackals went into their holes and that they were protected and when that leader was to go into the hole his bell was stuck up <laughs> in the, at the gate <laughs> <laughs> and the um uh, hunter came dog with dog and they just put <laughs> pulled him out <laughs> and then they were saying i would not have been killed but the leadership had killed me <laughs> this is so so my destruction by the any leadership any leadership which you find in this world will really you kill you don't be do a don't be responsible for anybody don't be responsible in for yourself have your responsible 
who is there in you, who is not appearing anywhere. He is so humble. He is not egoistic. He does show that I am. Consider me, have me. When you find even the masters, they look like some ordinary people. And when you talk to them, they will so humbly talk to you that you will find he is not even an ordinary man. He is very low, very low person. And that uh, you can deal with him in any way. But what he is really, he is God inside. But he had to keep himself in his own humility. And that humility is the greatness. That in the scripture it has been told that uh, where you would go to find God? Where there is all humility, first humility, second humility, third humility, this, uh, my master had given it. Shalogan, that man is to work and to uh, 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 earn this humility. And when he will be real humble, there he will find God. Because he is there. The rain may fall upon the mountains, but you will not find water over there. Water you will find in some ditch, in some low places, in some uh, 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 kind of... Uh, Lakes, very much down, deepest parts. So God is only available where there is no ego, no doership. And then every power, every knowledge, all wisdom will be available to you. And he will also be available. So my dear, the phenomena of life is you are to know and you are to find and then you will be able to live. For this purpose we have been given this life of the human being. Otherwise, if we are to live only life of the body, the elephants are there, camels are there, horses are there, and they are maintained there in a nice, healthy body, nice body. And we are suffering little. We cannot have our same kind of big bodies or healthy bodies. But it is not the criterion that we are have to compare ourselves with these animals as for their bodies. But we are something else. No doubt we are to have this body just to exist in this world. To exist in this world. If you have some water, you will have to some pot. Without pot, you cannot have water. Pot is not water. But pot is there for water. If you want water, you go to the pot and you find water. And if there is no water, you only go to the pot, you will find only pot, no water in it. Those animals are only pot, but no substance in it. We are the pot and also substance in it. Pot may be not so beautiful, not so big, not so great. But what is the substance in it, the crest jewel, which is really valuable and which we need, that is there needed. So we are not to have any kind of ego or greatness if we are great in this world. If you are great as a king, as an emperor, as prime minister, as president, that carries no value because if you have got small lump of earth, and other one has bigger lump of earth, it will only be weight. Someone is carrying little weight, other one is carrying much bigger weight. But no credit, only discredit. If you are having something of this world, little of this world, that is also a burden. If you are having a bigger weight with you, Bigger things of this world, that bigger weight. So that will be a discredit. To have more things of this world will create more problems, more headaches for you. And what is credit for you? That he who is there with you and he will carry you. That you are not to have any power, you are not to have any wisdom, 
you have never, not to have any intelligence, but he is there for you, he is intelligent, he is knowledge, he is wisdom, he is power, he is doer, he will work everything for you. As the child is there, child may be very brilliant, very brilliant, or child may be totally uh, very, very uh, dull, but it makes no difference. Because the child is not to do anything. A child which is very much brilliant is also not doer. And a child which is totally dull is also not doer. It only depends upon the father who is doer. What he is, what he can do. So child is not important, but the father of the child is important, who is doer. So this is the phenomena that we are having God in us. And those who have God in you, they will be really be great ones. And those who have not God in you, something we have seen there, those are suffering. That empty house is sometimes taken up by some pigeons or some evil spirits. Generally it happens. If you are living in your house, then you will clean your house, keep your house clean, and you will be indweller of the house, and other evil spirits or pigeons or other birds will not be occupying your house, because they will have, they will spoil your house. This is our condition that we are having no uh, uh, owner of house in this body. This body is temple of God. And spirit of God lives in it, but it's not there. And we as souls are also not there. And this body is taken up by the negative power through the its agency, mind and intellect. And negative power is working with all wise, with all wise. And we are going along with this vicious all life full of everything of negativity. But we do not know, we do not diagnose from each other, because all we are of the same kind. If we are traveling in uh, uh, two, three boats, or four, five boats are there, and they are uh, going around with the same speed as the current of the water, you will not feel that you are moving. You, when you look at each other, you are feeling stable. Only when you look at the bank, which is stable, and only you are moving, then you will come to know that we are not stable, we are moving. So as we are ourselves, uh, the evils, let, uh, my, let me say, I don't like to say, I will not say, and you are also not. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I will only say you are nice, very good, very wonderful. <laughs> Why should I say you are negative? What you are, you will remain. <laughs> you, what you are, you will remain. I will not, <laughs> I will not be able to interfere in you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> but let it be, if we are all the same kind of uh, uh, mm, uh, negative ones or uh, having some vice, nobody will be able to check who is uh, negative. Because there is no comparison. Only we check up with the comparison. This world is only made of comparison. And that when we compare ourselves with the uh, standard of God, which is our standard, our standard of soul, then we come to know that what we are, where we are, and what is real life, what we are, uh, suffering with, and that we can come out, and we should come out at once, we should jump out of it, and save ourselves of this tragic system. So this is a system of life which is given to you, you are to understand, and you are to find. That what I am telling you, I am not uh, giving you any scriptures, or any, uh, here it says, find something from somebody. I'm telling you my own experience. My worldly experience is also there. Other heavenly experience is also there. 
therefore i can check up these things in proper way he half way knowledge is always dangerous that is generally told a person who has got a really complete and perfect picture then only can decide properly if the judge only listen to one party if he decides according to that his decision will not be correct he will have to listen to both the parties and then out of both the parties then he will able to check up what is reality what is real what is truth so if you have found only this worldly setup of the lifestyle how can you check up if it is correct or not what is given to you it is only thing and you cannot have any alternative or uh, to check up when there are two things with you then one is really glittering glorious like sun other like uh, lying like a piece of charcoal cannot you detect if there is sheep and there is camel you cannot detect it is very easy it is not so hard because there are great difference great difference so among each other uh, among us we cannot detect who is more bad who is less bad but when we are uh, having contact with the reality of soul and god and kingdom of god at once we will find what is that and what is this because the world of difference and then we will able to understand and we will able to also accept what is really acceptable and we reject what is not desirable to us that why masters generally do not give much lectures or some kind of words they give you direct contact with the reality at the level of soul they weaken your soul and give you contact with the inner wonderful self what you call god or kingdom of god it is not something that we have been given substance strange that you will feel like god how it can be but my dear is god the difference only is there that when the child is very small it can only reach the feet of the father and ask him what is your father he will say he is like this like feet <laughs> he is like <laughs> because he cannot look up he has love of on his feet after two three years when he is little grown up he will say no he is little more also <laughs> he is little more also <laughs> and that when he is fully grown as the father and of the same stature as that of father and look directly then say he is a complete perfect man as i am as i am he will know his own self and also the father then i he will say i and my father are one so if you have been given contact only with this small two that is also that also your father <laughs> that also not something else <laughs> if you have been little light if you have been little sound that is also god because the in the begin was the word and word was with god and word was god so this word which is there in you that is god and you had further develop yourself had to find better and higher and higher god at last you will come in contact with perfect god when you will also be perfect this is a law that if somebody is living on the third story and you are on the ground floor you cannot find you cannot know that person till you are also on the third floor when you are at that level then you will to know what is there lying on the third floor while on this earth plane you cannot know anything of the higher regions and how do you can know out about the kingdom of god and god so masters give you direct intuition you are not depend upon information because if master tells you something you will not believe 
because we are fed up of all such like information. Everywhere we, we go, there are leverage and leverage full of, full and full, phenomena and phenomena. Religions are religions, doctrines and doctrines are there, but all the world is still suffering. World is still suffering. And assurances are there, assurances are there that now the tabernacle of God with the man, and he will dwell with the man, and his man will dwell with him, and he will be their God. Now God will wipe out all their tears, there will be no more sorrows, no more pains, no more diseases, no more death, because all these things were of the past. But nobody is contacting us, nobody is showing us anything. And what is word God? And what is the kingdom of God? You ask somebody, they will be just uh, taking it as something uh, totally strange. What is the kingdom of God? What is God? We are here, we are here, but that is all. This is uh, what is going on. This is due to uh, the lackness of practical contact of knowledge. Till we are not ourselves knowledge, we cannot know anything from any information center, from any information agency, this is law. You may go on learning anything for whole of your life, but in the end you will find that you have learnt nothing, you have known nothing, you have found nothing. Because knowledge is not from any kind of words or, or uh, teachings or from books. It is a direct with substance. That substance comes to you and you find it and you know it. And that you enjoy it, you have it. This is law. You may go on talking of the food, whole of your life, how good, wonderful is it? some kind of food, but you will never know what it is and what it can be. Did you find it? So my dear, um, the man is very much deluded, very much in illusion, and we cannot uh, uh, blame anybody. We have to curse ourselves that if somebody comes to you and teach you, deceive you, you should be sufficiently strong in yourself that nobody there to cheat you, nobody there to deceive you, you have to save yourself. If there is a lion which is running after a jackal, it is not part of the lion that a lion has killed a jackal, it is very cruel, no. Jackal was too weak that he could not become lion, a bigger lion than that lion who was attacking him and that he could save him. He would have become also lion and that he would have saved him. It is not no doubt possible in the animal animals and animal kingdom. But in a human being it is possible. This is law for you that you cannot blame anybody you cannot blame the lions. If lions comes, that it attacks you, or a snake comes, attacks you, or any enemy comes, attacks you, then you are to be blamed. That why you could not save yourself? Why you could not control the lion? Why you could not control the elephant? Why you could not uh, uh, control uh, the snake? Didn't you have power? Because they are depending upon you. It is your power that they are working with. It is the power of God, which is working everywhere. And you are the control, you are the switch holder of that power. And if you give them power, they will be able to work. If you withdraw their power, they will not be able to work. In mesmerism, there is something such like happening that we can mesmerize and control the actions of the other ones, even of the human beings, not only to talk of animals. At the mental level also we can control the actions of the others. 
but with very low control. Why not at the level of soul? We can control everything. And there cannot be any death. There cannot be any suffering. There cannot be any disease. There cannot be any enemy. There cannot be any one who is to kill you, who is to rob you, to disturb you. It is our own fault, our own, own weakness that you are surrounded by flies. If a man is weak, cannot move the hand, then flies will go on <laughs> around his body. And if you are crying, oh, flies are very cruel, flies are very cruel, flies are very cruel, they are disturbing me. Oh my dear, why don't you disturb the flies? <laughs> you are too weak. <laughs> That is the mind, poor fate of the man. We are suffering. And we are suffering due to our own unability. So, get up and be doing and you are doer. But not as your mind, but your soul in kingdom of God with God and enjoy it. Oh, my dear, this is my humble submission to all of you. I have told so many things before also, but this also I have rendered to you for your uh, uh, acceptance that you may accept something and when you go back, you go back full of knowledge, not full of power and full of perfection. Full of perfection. Because I have not given you this information, now I will connect you also with the inner setup which is there really which, which, which work and you will be benefited. Okay, my dear, now take the seats for meditations. <laughs>